and is just looking. And it's been there for days, but it's just very focused and still. So what happens at first, there's a, and this is all symbolics, okay? Which is very, very uh, exact to the time we're going through. So I highly recommend you watch this movie, Little Buddha. And I think it was made in mid nineties. So the first thing happens is that there's a huge um, tidal waves, waves, huge are coming. Like the ocean rose to maybe 40 meter and it's coming towards the Buddha and Buddha is sitting and the water is coming to crash on Buddha and the, the water is gonna just destroy everything. And the Buddha is not moving. He doesn't get up and go. He just stays, you know, it's like this. And the ocean comes, the wave, the huge tsunami, it's a tsunami comes and the wave starts crashing on Buddha, but he doesn't move. And as it's crashing, the wave starts to disappear. So it doesn't touch the Buddha, but the Buddha remains still. He's not reacting. And then that goes away. Then an army of 10,000 soldiers come and they're in front of the Buddha. They're, let's say like 30 meters away. And the commander, they're all these like archers. So the commander calls and calls the archers to pull their, to shoot the Buddha. So, and then they're putting fire on top of the bows. So 10,000 soldiers, they pull their bow, arrow bow, and they shoot. They shoot all these arrows coming to Buddha. And the Buddha doesn't move. He is not going to hide. He just stays in his meditation. And all the arrows come. And as they get close to Buddha, the arrows turn into roses, to flowers, and they all fall at his feet. Yeah, you're with me? Then the next thing is comes Mara. Mara comes as these five beautiful, naked, gorgeous women dancing in front of the Buddha and they're trying to lure him in. Come and sleep with me, come and eat me, lick me, da da da, da. let me be with you. And the Buddha doesn't react, he stays into his meditation. It's really fascinating because the tsunami is like what is going on right now. The tsunami is happening in the world, the pandemic. What is happening in the world is like the tsunami happening. So if you are in your meditation and your attention is in the self, your attention is on the I am, you're in the presence, what can the pandemic do to you? What kind of power the pandemic or any terrorist activity or any army can do to the state of the I am? when you are in your original state of the being, what could anything do to you? 
examine it for yourself. Don't believe what I'm telling you. I encourage you to examine it for yourself as I've examined it for myself. My teacher suggested for me to examine this for myself. So I did. Your state, your true being, your presence of the I am when you're in your apartment right now, wherever you are, and you're in this place, nothing in the universe can touch you because you are in the truth of the self. You are one with the very fundamental being of existence. Everything else comes from that. So you are who you're looking for. What you're looking for all of your life is within yourself, here and now. Our sister Candace, in the life training program that we did, she got it. She recognized that. Now she's looking at life changing. Everything's going to come and go in, in the presence of the observer. When you're the observer, you are the observer of life. You are the observer of your body. You are the observer of your mind and your emotions. So you're in this place. What could anything that changes do to that which is always present? Because the only thing in the, in the universe that is real is that which doesn't change. So if you recognize that which doesn't change inside yourself, which is I am, which is the observer, which is the witness, then you have found stillness and everything else comes and goes and has no power. But if you believe what comes and goes is real, then you're in deep shit. You're in trouble. If you believe what comes and goes is real, you're in deep trouble. You have to find that which is always still. And you can't find it if you exercise your mind. Because your mind is always coming and going. You have to go beyond the mind into silence and into stillness. That place which there is no thoughts. Then you are free. And this is what we do. This is what we teach here. We're not teaching mental exercises. We're teaching silence. Opposite of what most of the world is teaching right now. And that's the way to the fifth dimensional consciousness. The 5D consciousness and awareness is pure stillness. There's no movement. It's the consciousness of the oneness. It's not involved with the world. It's watching the world. 
Anytime you get involved with the world, you're going to get yourself into trouble. Remain the observer of the world. You be in the world, but don't be of the world. You are in the world, of course. You have to pay your rent. You have a heater, you have a car, you have a motorcycle, you have to eat, you have to buy food, you have to make money. You're in the world, but you don't have to be of the world. If you become of the world, then you suffer. If you remain detached and just be an observer of the world, then you will never suffer. Nothing touches you. You become free. Okay? It's nice to see you all. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. I apologize on, on behalf of the, the town of Tulum. <laughs> Pretty soon, inshallah, God willing, I move into my house and I'm going to create my studio so I can broadcast and hopefully it will be quiet. So, and yeah, I, I'm still planning on uh, offering a free retreat. Uh, I'm planning to do everything we were going to do as soon as I'm settled in a place and I can broadcast and I have the freedom of broadcasting. So we're going to have that. Yes, I do want to put a retreat here in Tulum. Uh, it's going to be an ex exclusive retreat. Um, I don't know how many people I can take, but I'll let you know. But I do want to create a unified field, a field of being able to take you to all the power places here. And that's where we create a system to do the transmission. So, so using the power of the land, incorporating with the inner power of the self and creating the field that can transmit to create the shift in us. In addition for that, uh, besides of broadcasting every Wednesday, I also offer a, uh, a program. It's called Life Training Program. It's a one-on-one -on -one training program, which is tailor-made to your needs. So I work with you once a week for one and a half hour for 12 weeks. It would take about three to four months. And I take you step-by-step -step through this very uh, particular system of helping you to become free. A uh, number of my people here, they've been, they've done it or they're doing it. And so far it's been very successful. So if you're interested in getting more information about the life training program with me, uh, feel free and send me an email. Uh, my email is info at zaratustra.tv. And then we, I will set up a, an appointment and we'll have a consultation. It's a free consultation. We talk about how long it takes, what, what is it you need to do, what, is your, what you can be expecting and how much it costs. So feel free to contact me. Um, this broadcast, hopefully if it comes out okay, it's funny because they stopped the construction right around the time we're finishing. So um, if it's not too noisy and Amir can edit it, then we're going to put it on YouTube, my YouTube channel and we'll send it out to you. Uh, also, I have my podcast and my Facebook channels and Instagram. It's all Zaratustra 5D. 
the address for all of these channels, Zarathustra 5D. And my website is zarathustra.tv. Uh, I will continue broadcasting every Wednesday. Um, so we're going to meet next week. We shifted the time to 6 p.m. Uh, from 7 p.m. Um, I'm open to suggestions. If you think 6 p.m. doesn't work, we should go back to the old time. Feel free, send me an email. I'm open to hear about your opinion because this is for all of us and, uh, and I like to get your feedback. And if you have any suggestions, just connect with me. I appreciate it. Very good. Well, thank you for joining me and many blessings to all of you. I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.